Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in WW 2K25. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to look at your NVIDIA parameter. And at the end, we'll go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture. Capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're gonna struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, yeah, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So inside of the game, so first of all, to find the graphic setting, you can't find it in game. So you need to be in the menu, go to extra graphic settings over there and you will have all those uh, different settings over here. 
So first of all, texture quality, you just have two uh, options. Honestly, if you have 6 gig and more of VRAM on your GPU, go with I. If you have less than 6 gig, go with standard. But it's pretty much it. Uh, don't play in window mode. V-Sync, I deactivate it. I don't like to add input lag when I'm playing a game. But a game is locked at 60. And right now, as you can see, my refresh rate is 240. Uh, it's a little bit better for the input lag, but it can cause also issue. On my hand, I didn't have any issue, but uh, if you're struggling, just activate the V-Sync and use the Action Camera FPS at 60. You just have uh, two on the option. The recommended settings uh, for this game is V-Sync at on and 60 FPS. Again, they're running on the same old engine. Uh, they don't modify a lot of stuff. They don't put any new technology for the PC. It's pretty boring, honestly, but anyway, we have to deal with it. For Shadow, uh, Shadow, if you compare on Ultra versus Off, you can expect 12% boost in your FPS. If you want Shadow because you game, you, you think the game looks flat without it, go with on at medium. You will have a nice 6 to 7% boost and the game uh, will look uh, pretty much uh, fine. For Shader Quality, I recommend to go with I. Uh, Ultra, you're going to lose like 3% of your FPS. But after that, you're just getting like 1% for each bracket. So I is a good compromise over there. Anti-aliasing, I recommend FXAA. Honestly, TAA, the game is very um, blurry with, uh, with it. So my recommendation, go with FXAA. Uh, pretty much a basic anti-aliasing and you're going to gain a nice 3% boost in your FPS. Reflection can uh, tank a lot your FPS. So my recommendation, if you're, you're playing on an old PC, just go with off. Don't use reflection. If not, run medium. Dynamic upscaling, this one is pretty boring. Honestly, you have line, linear sorry, and AMD FSR 1. Right now, uh, I think AMD just released FSR 4. So I'm not sure why they're using FSR 1. You don't have the DLSS uh, option also. Uh, it's, pretty much bo it's pretty boring, but FSR 1 is better than linear in this game. So definitely use that. If you feel that your game is too blurry, put some sharpness in it. If you feel that it looks too much like uh, an Instagram filter, Go lower me, I'm playing at 6 with uh, the M uh, FSR1. Depth of field, disactivate. Motion blur, disactivate. Better visibility, you don't want to use that. Uh, audience uh, density, this one is buying on your CPU. So if you have a pretty bad CPU, maybe start at 25. Look at your FPS. If everything is stable, you're, you're good. Do some 25% uh, jump. So after that, go with 50, 75. So do some testing with this one because sometimes you have a, some people have like a pretty decent GPU, but a bad CPU, they bottlenecking on this CPU and it can be uh, an issue in this game. So definitely don't go too crazy with your audience density. The last one is uh, if you're struggling to run multi uh, superstar mode, if you're uh, you're getting some like stuttering, lag, dropping your FPS, you have a performance that uh, performance mode that you can activate. Just put this one at on and it will work. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my uh, WWE 2K25 guide. Honestly, not a lot much in it if you compare with other um, years. Uh, I really hope that they're gonna unlock the FPS in the future, maybe at 120 FPS, have some upscaling technique like DLSS, FSR3, something like that. But anyway, it's not the case this year. So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.